Hey, what is up, guys? This is James, and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you a tips that you can follow to make responsive animation in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, when you are making essential graphics template, let me show you. So, here you can see there is a essential graphics template. If I play it back, you will see there is animation going on, right? Suppose I want to make the animation a little bit shorter. What I can do if I just click and drag it on my left side, it will make the layer shorter, right? But if I play it back, now you can see the ending animation is missing, right? Because I have trimmed this layer. But here is a responsive animation. If I play it back, you'll see the same animation. But in this case, if I just make it shorter and play it back, you'll see the ending animation is present here, right? Again, if I make it a little bit longer, maybe this much. And now if I play it back, again the ending animation is present here so how you can do that let me show you first i'll delete this to animation and i'll make a animation from scratch so let's take a text layer and write responsive animation right now select the text and go to window and from here you have to go to essential graphics panel just click here this panel will appear then maybe you can make the text center align now change the color whatever color you want i'll make it white and from here you can change the font or you can align the text in the center of the frame now if i want to make a animation like a typewriter animation what i have to do i have to go to effects panel if you don't see effects panel and then go to window and from here enable effects click here and then search for crop click and drag this crop effect on top of your layer just release it then go to effects control panel and from here you'll see there is a effect called crop that we have applied right now we have to animate the crop factor to have a illusion that is writing the text how you can do that you need to go here and from here you have to go to at the beginning of the text layer then click on this toggle animation icon for left top right and bottom just to make sure that you are animating all the properties then just play back a little bit maybe this much and from here you can make another keyframe right just add keyframe here and now go to at the beginning part and from here just select the crop and then click and drag this section at the end of this text right now if i play it back what will happen you'll see there is a reveal animation going on so i'll make the duration a little bit longer so i'll go here on the effects control panel and then i'll just make the spacing between the first and second keyframe a little bit longer so now if i play it back you can see the animation is going on now just press the tilde key here on this effects control panel to make the effects control panel bigger go to at the ending part maybe here then copy this section deselect the keyframe that you have selected right click and click paste this keyframe will be copied here right again copy the first keyframes right click and then copy and go to at the end of your layer and here you can just paste the animation so now if i play it back you'll see there is a reveal animation going on and here is the ending animation now if i trim it down you'll see we are losing the ending animation so how you can keep the ending animation you have to make the animation responsive so select the layer then go to effects control panel and from here if you press tilde key or if you double click here on the effects control panel it will make the screen bigger and from here you'll see there is a blue icon here right this, there is a blue icon at the beginning of this layer and here at the ending of this layer right so if i just click and drag this blue icon it will make a selection just like that so we are telling premiere pro that please preserve this section and don't touch it when i'm trimming the layer so that premiere pro will preserve this section and it will not be trimmed out right again you have to do the same thing for the ending part click and drag it here just like that and now here just press the tilde key or double click here on the effects control to minimize it 
and if you play it back the animation is playing perfectly and now if i trim it down you will see our ending animation is not trimming right again if i make it bigger you will see the ending part is here now you can save it as an essential graphics template so that you can use it again and again to make it happen you have to select the layer go to graphics and titles and from here just select export as a motion graphics template right click here then this window will pop up name it responsive animation i'm just naming it then you can select my library and from here you can just give some text i'm just giving responsive tech now click ok then premiere pro will save this template here in the essential graphics panel if i go here and then if i go here on the browse section then you'll see here is my responsive animation right if i click and drag it here i can use it again and again without any problem so that's it that is how you can make any animation responsive in adobe premiere pro i hope this video helped you if this video helped you and if you have learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you new this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye i gotta hit the beat, beat.